I've recorded like how many? Six videos today already? I don't like it's crazy. Not not six, not even close. What? No. What the fuck am I thinking? Like one, two, three, four. Okay, this is gonna be the fourth. And and maybe fifth if I do the the gas in here in there too. Hey Tsubaki. Welcome back to the club. Colonel Mitsuki, it has been some time. Sorry to trouble you. Coming out to greet me yourself like this. Quite all right. More importantly, I heard you were promoted. Congratulations are in order. Why the long face? It's nothing. Colonel, I'm terribly sorry to ask this of you, but could you please stop addressing me informally when we are in public? We've known each other forever. Why not just embrace it? That's unrelated. Please, just treat me as a subordinate. It's fine, it's fine. Anyway, Tsubaki, looks like you've become quite the responsible adult. Such a waste on little Ginny. Colonel Lutsky, if that's supposed to be a joke, please stop. Tsubaki, we have something of great importance to discuss later. I'll be waiting for you. Well, well, Colonel Kagura Mutsuki. What an honor. I'm Hazuma of the Intelligence Department. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Ah, Hazuma. Oh, so you've heard of me. My goodness indeed, what an honor. An honor? Is he being serious? What was that? Oh, nothing. So are you here on Intelligence Department business? Here. Ah, what's this? A letter from the Imperador regarding my business here. I see. Don't get in the way of these two, presumably. I don't have any way of knowing what it says. It's a letter from the Imperator, and I'm merely her humble servant. Well then, it doesn't matter. You can do as you like. I'll pay no attention to whatever it is you're up to. My troops and resources are at your disposal. Very gracious. Along those lines... Oh, is there something else? We're acting as the Imperator's will here. You understand my meaning. The Imperator's will overrides all other commands. I climb the ranks, I understand that much. I merely thought it prudent to remind you of our role here. Captain Hazuma, that man is your superior officer, and you will accord him the respect he deserves. So sorry, Major Yayoi, I overstepped my bounds. My deepest apologies. We'll begin our mission immediately then. The Punition Department shall be our Ars Magus vessel, so you won't need to prepare yours. On that note, if you'll excuse us, Colonel. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Good luck. <laughs> oh, by the way, Colonel Mutsuki, since I've come so far to see you, would you mind if I happen to drop by your office later on? Yes, I would. Don't trouble yourself. Wow. Well, that's cold of you. C'est la vie, I suppose. But please, if you wouldn't mind, give your pet cat a treat. Colonel, maybe some more milk. Damn it, he already knows. I hate that guy. <laughs> I love that guy, actually. So, Yuki Terami's here. That settles it, then. The Imperator's coming? Yep, there's no doubt about it. The problem all comes down to timing. Timing, huh? Uh, by the way, Tsubaki was with him. I guess they're not leaving anything to chance. I have a rough idea what they're planning to do. But I don't know what means they'll use to do it. What means? Without knowing that, we'll always be playing catch-up, that's for sure. But if Izayoi's here too, that can complicate things slightly. Why's that? Izayoi can draw in the electromagnetic spectrum which renders my observational devices meaningless. So, should we eliminate Tsubaki? No, that's unwise. We'll need Izayoi around later on. We will? I see. Why are you so happy about that? I'm not really keen on the idea of beating up Tsubaki. And come on, she's a cutie. I'd really like it if she were on our side. Is that all? Look, I've known Tsubaki since she was little. She's a good kid. She's earnest and straightforward. For the world I want to shape, I need good people like her. 
Also, Jen would kick my ass if anything happened to her. <laughs> That's none of my business. Very well. Do as you please. Yeah, yeah. But what are we gonna do? Hazuma told me to tell you he says hello. Did someone on our end leak information? Damn Teremi, that bastard. Okay, instead of running around like our heads were cut off, we need to take urgent action. Agreed. But if Tsubaki is here as well, that means they're definitely pursuing... Noel Vermillion. If Ezioi is deployed against Noel, things will get very troublesome. The anti-observer weapon Ezioi. Yeah. That thing would be able to kill her. The Imperators put out an order for Noel's capture. Tsubaki would definitely come for her. Hmm. That's why I've made it so she's somewhere I can keep tabs. We can't afford to lose Noel by letting her come into contact with Tsubaki. Well, things should be fine for now. Noel's right here anyway. It'll be fine as long as they stay put and don't cause a scene. Nothing but a source of anxiety. Right. We won't get anywhere if we don't figure out what to do about Ezioi before something goes wrong. About that. I'll go meet up with Tsubaki again. With Tsubaki Yayoi? I still have that matter to discuss with her. Those eyes. She must be under some kind of spell. I had hoped to lead Tsubaki up to Jin, though. You're going to go? Tsubaki Yayoi, as she is now, is nothing more than the Imperator's servant. I don't think she'll be very inclined to listen to someone who's trying to rebel against the NOL. And that's where my masterful skills of persuasion come in. She'll melt in the palm of my hand. Dude. Sure. Find out for yourself how Izayoi will make mincemeat out of you. There's no way I would lose to a thing like Izayoi. The fact that its vessel is a woman means my victory is assured. All women in this world are my allies. No. That is just not. That is just not right. That is just not true. Your confidence baffles me. You honestly believe that crap? Keep in mind, there's at least one woman who doesn't feel that way. <laughs> just leave the persuasion and seduction of that lovely young woman to me. Go ahead. I have no problems as long as Subaki Yayoi is taken care of. But I assume you understand completely, don't you? What exactly? What I'm referring to when I say I'm leaving it up to you. Yes, if we fail, then before it's too late, I'll kill Tsubaki with my own hands. As long as you're prepared, then go ahead and do whatever you want. But if it comes to that, you cannot let Noel... What are you talking about? What's that supposed to mean? Ah, Makoto, how long have you been... I came to ask about Tsubaki, then I hear you talking about killing her, and some nonsense about her killing Noel. Tsubaki's here? Why didn't you tell us any of this? I should have suspected as much from a former spy. How long have you been listening? We may as well have told Noel ourselves. I guess there's no help in it. Listen, Makoto, lead Tsubaki to me. Just forget what you overheard here. And of course, don't tell Noel anything. Why? Uh, because the two of you are rebels now? If Tsubaki finds you, she will kill you. Do you understand that? She wouldn't do that. Please, couldn't you let us handle her? Let, let you handle her? Are you even listening at all? Here we go again. But, but, but Noel and I, we're Tsubaki. I understand how you feel. There are friends on both sides of this. But you have to understand. You have a responsibility for your actions. A responsibility? To the lives of Kagura and all the other people who are sheltering you. <sighs> Selfishly acting of your own accord will put those around you in danger. You, who spent time at the intelligence department, should understand what that means. You do, don't you? Yes. Makoto, please trust me. I... Uh, I do trust you. Don't worry. Tsubaki will make it home safely. I won't let anyone do anything that will put her at risk. And you know that's a big deal coming from me. So just stay put and calm down. Trust me. Okay. Good girl. When you get back to Noel, just relax and keep her safe. Got it? Yeah. I'll... See you later.
See, that's how you take care of business. That was really close to complicating everything. Take care of business? Are you serious? Huh? What do you mean? The man of the hour. How's your body feel, Tager? No problems, though it feels slightly heavier than before. The frame is cast from a new material. Slightly more emphasis on endurance over mobility. So the weight increased about 5%. Of course, you gained a 10% increase in artificial causality phenomena weapon output. It might be a little awkward to start, but you'll get used to it. I see. Understood. Though I don't understand how that makes me the man of the hour. Makoto Nania overheard our conversation concerning plans... What's this music? Restrain her immediately. And place her in one of the cells on the premises. Presumably, I should detain Noel Vermillion in the same manner? Of course. Roger. What? Whoa, hey, Makoto and Noel? I just explained everything to Makoto. She'll understand. I know she understands. She understands that you providing them with a hiding place is putting us at risk. So by leaving the hiding place, they're trying to protect us. Oh. That's why we have to detain them, you fool. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Best to keep the strength. What? You could see in Makoto's expression that she'd made up her mind. Couldn't you tell? You're so critical. But I'm amazed you were able to pick up on that in just an instant. As long as you always plan for the worst, you're usually pleasantly surprised. Kagura, your optimism has served you surprisingly well as a leader. But it seems like you'd do well to keep a sharper eye out for potholes. Well, consider that a lesson learned. By the way... What? Who's that girl hanging on to Tager? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Good morning, Kokonoe. What the fuck? Oh, you're awake. Are you feeling well? Hello? Oh, yes. All systems ready and raring to go. I'll take that as a no. Uh, excuse me? Oh, I hadn't introduced you yet. I mentioned her earlier. She's our trump card. Trump card? What in the holy shit are you doing here? Noellers! Oh, hey, Makoto. You were gone for a while. No time for greetings, Noel. Get your things. We need to get out of here fast. What? Get out of here? What's wrong? Did something happen? Not something. Someone! Tsubaki's nearby! Noel, do you want to see Tsubaki? Wait, Tsubaki's here? Yes, I want to see her. I want to talk with her and really set things straight. There was a misunderstanding between us and... I don't want to leave things the way they are now. There's an order out from the Imperator for your arrest. You could even be killed. Do you still want to see her? Yes, that doesn't change how I feel. Then let's go. We're only a burden for everyone here, so let's slip out and search for her together. Anything to save our best friend. Oh, it's turning out exactly as predicted. Sorry, you two, but I need to take you into custody. Oh, no. Busted, huh? I don't wish to harm you, so I'll appreciate it if you come quietly. Get out of here, Noellers! Now! No, Makoto, don't! Tigger, please! You have to let us go. We just want to help our friend. Even if it might be presumptuous to think we can, Tsubaki is important to us, so we need to try. When someone important to you is in danger, you have to reach out your hand to try to help them. Are you done? Oh, wow. The power of friendship is going to win this fight. Tsubaki helped me out once before, when I was a student. If she hadn't been there, that's why it's my turn now. No Wellers! You're supposed to be escaping! Go, go, go! I can't just run, Makoto. We'll face this together. I don't know which one it is, but yeah, okay. Just this once. Just this once, I'll let you go. But next time, expect no mercy. You understand? Tager, thank 
you, Taker. Just get out of here. Let's go, Noel. Okay, Makoto. Huh. Well, they ran off. My beautiful flowers will bloom in another field. <sighs> Damn those idiots. Tager, come in. Can you hear me? Roger. Tager here. Noel and Makoto were spotted running to the southwest. Engage pursuit. Install a probe while you're at it. Copy that? Copy. Well, after all that, are you sure you're the right person to be chastising me? Quiet, you. This isn't unexpected. I'll just plan to run into them on the way. You're going to Tsubaki. If I do, I'll probably bump into Noel or Makoto. I'll bring them in. Can I work for you? It will. I have my own business to take care of in the meantime. You got it. Uh, I think Kabiki should be getting back pretty soon. I appreciate you handling that. If I'm able to. Hey, Celica, we're going. Okay. Huh, so this girl's name is Celica? Oh, I haven't introduced myself, have I? I'm Celica A. Mercury. Nice to meet you, Kagura. Hello. Celica A. Mercury? Celica A. Mercury. Nice to meet you too, Celica. Is it really necessary to greet each other? Greetings are fundamental. First impressions are very important, and the first impression of all is a respectful greeting. I guess I just don't give a shit what people think about me. <laughs> oh, and Kagura? I'm stepping out for a bit. I'll be back soon. Stepping out? I just asked you a second ago to handle a beaky for me. Didn't I say, if I'm able to? Let's go, Celica. See you later, Kagura. Who are you? Just who is Celica? Give me a break. What? Uh. Colonel, I've returned. Oh, you're back already. And Jin should be with you. Yep. Okay. That's a hell of a trip. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, there's like one every se What? Okay. Well, I'm gonna do the gag real quick. And I don't know if I'll keep going. I have to do a bunch of stuff. If I do keep going, you'll see more videos with me. Ugh.